And wrapping up our news this Monday, a man jumped into action to save his dog while it was being attacked by a bear. CBS's Anna Giles introduces us to Caleb and his best friend, Buddy. Yeah. Caleb and Buddy spent Thanksgiving lying in bed, but they're feeling more thankful than ever. Honestly, the only thing that I could think of was save my baby. A tale of survival the night before a holiday. Caleb says Buddy was outside playing near his home in Grass Valley when something just didn't sound right. And I heard a growl, looked over the hillside, and then about 7,500 feet down, the bear was dragging him by his head, had his head in his mouth. That horror sunk in, but didn't paralyze him. I just ran down there, plowed into the bear, tackled it, and grabbed it by its throat and started hitting it in the face and eye till it let him go. The bear ran off. Then came the desperate dash to find a vet. My first thought was I was going to lose him. Motherload Vet Hospital was ready for surgery as soon as Caleb got there, but he needed staples, stitches, and tubes inserted into his head to drain fluid. I just stood there and watched through the window for three and a half, four hours. I have to put ointment on his head. And now Buddy is making a speedy recovery. But that bear is still out there. And Caleb says it won't leave them alone. It's been back to the house several times since the attack. It made an attack and had its food and its food got taken from it and it wants it back, I feel like. Caleb rescued Buddy from a shelter a few years ago and didn't hesitate to rescue him again from a 350 pound bear. If it was your kid, what would you do? That's my kid, and I would die for my dog.